This is so cool, everybody. Doesn't that look like a skull right there? And then you got this. Navitans built all that, carved it all out. That's where we heard we're just a second ago. There's the valley, the Petra Valley that goes up and in. Oh, and everywhere you can see the, all the little hiking spots. But I like over here. I got these two caves right here. And Ramses, he keeps taking us deeper and deeper. Let's see how this was all built up years and years ago by the Nabataeans. They used to live up here. They had their little houses and stuff. That one's going up higher to where it looks like they built a lot of stuff up there. It's just unreal, you guys. It's, it's out of this world. Cool. <laughs> I'm loving this, man. I am loving this. This is beautiful. There's the road up over there behind the shot. Oh, this is so neat. Ah, and we haven't even got to, you know, into the valley of Petra. We're just on the top. There's the city of Petra up there. You can see the road coming down. All the tour buses go up to the left of the shot. And there's, I think our hotel is right up there somewhere too. We haven't gone to the hotel. We decided to get here early. I decided to get here early. Because uh, I want to do a bunch of this other stuff. Because we only have a couple days here. Before we head into Jerusalem. Jerusalem! I love that little pit where the water... And they may even carve that out. See that little streak there? Going down that rock. It looks like water dug it. It could be erosion. Or it looks, it, it's squared off. So it looks like it may have been cut into the rock. And down there, I know right down there, there was a little pit where there was a puddle of water. So they might have done that on purpose to, you know, for water to fill up everybody who lived up here. Imagine living up here. All you got is goats and rainwater. Jesus. Oh, there's the goats over there. I can hear the little bells jingling. Okay. I'm going to go up one more spot 